Now look, they uh, on appearance they look really good, uh, in good shape. We've been in pretty good contact with them uh, throughout the break, and we're yeah, pretty happy with how they are. Obviously, the uh, um, the real test comes when they they run in a in a, in a short moment. But um, yeah, on the face, they look pretty good. What was involved in that? Just giving you the odd phone call to see how they're getting on. Yeah, look, there's a, a whole range of guys. The guys that are actually up and running and you know, doing the training program uh, who are fit, you know, they sort of. Uh, just make sure the program's uh, hard enough for them and that they're doing all the right things. And you've got the other guys, of course, who are you know, still going through some of their rehab programs. So they're in constant contact with the, uh, the fitness staff and the, um, the physios and those guys. So just make sure that they stay on track. That last week before the Christmas break was really tough for all the players. How, in your experience, how important is that momentum to the Christmas break like that? Oh, look, it's, it's, um, it, it is really tough, but that's, that's designed for that. I guess we, um, we build up to that. Uh, I guess the whole program is is staged and we have light weeks and heavy weeks and that's a heavy week because we know they're going to have you know some downtime in the, the two and a half weeks after that so um we push them really hard i think by the end of it you're starting to see guys you know they were you know, stressed um, with their bodies and, and you know, mentally as well they've been training really hard and concentrating for that long period of time so it's, it's great they have that you know, two and a half weeks now to what have had to recover physically and mentally they come back now knowing that um you know, training steps up a level and the games aren't too far away. Has the coach become the harder edge in pre-season? Like, since you know what you've seen, they've seen it's always tough, but you've just seen what you've the harder edge. Oh, um, I don't know. I, don't, I haven't, it hasn't stood out to me, but uh, I think we've, you know, each each year we feel as if we're really clear about what we want to do, but this year in particular, you know, it's, uh, it's Brenton's third year, so you know, he's got a really good handle on um, you know what he feels we need to do. There's we've made some alterations to it, and um, you know that's been pretty public in terms of wanting to to be a bit harder and the, the emphasis more on, on running with the, the change to the interchange rule. So you know we're pretty clear on what we need to do, and you know he's been you know pretty solid in driving that. Is there any players in particular that have sort of transformed their bodies more than others um, going through running stuff? Um, <clears throat> most players have lost. Probably a kilo or two, so it's it's no one person that stood out. But um, you know, just to me, there's been um, you know a real desire. I've seen pre-Christmas, and I'm, I'm certain that we'll be here as well now. But you know that last year wasn't good enough, and and they feel as if um, you know they they've got a point to prove to be able to get back to the the heights we uh, we got to in 2012, and and uh, you know that's been something that's been driving them pre-Christmas, and hopefully it yeah, hangs around after Christmas. Um, well, I hope so. Uh, nothing against VB, but it's uh, you know it's great. Be great to see someone from below come up and, and take the mantle. Sam Kerridge and, and uh, Mitch Grigg both pushed them at different stages. Dave McKay is another one who gets right up here. So I guess you guys will uh, you watch that pretty closely. But um, you know VB being professionally, he, uh, he takes a bit of pride in, in setting the example. So it's a really tough race, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a match yeah, well, it might just spice it up a little bit, wouldn't it? Um, no, I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, it would be a bit different. We could, if you could organise this to start at the same time, perhaps you could put a clock on both and see how they go. You know they do? Uh, no, I didn't. How often Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess last year, the, if there was any silver lining with the amount of injuries we had, we did get a, a chance to expose some players to it. So Tom Lynch played a lot of footy, which he hadn't done previously. Lewis Johnston, uh, Josh Lincolns, all those guys had a lot of footy. So, um, you know, it's now up to them to really consolidate their spots because there's obviously uh, increased competition with, uh, you know, the Eddie Betts and, and James Podziadley coming into the, the fold and Taylor hopefully due back in, in the first half of the year. So. Now that'll um, put a lot of pressure on everyone, and um, with pressure, generally comes people who stand up and, and uh, perform. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. You know, the other one who looks fantastic at the moment is, um, is Sean Kern, who's come back in really good shape, training really well. So, uh, he'll, he'll certainly put his hand up for selection as well. How is Tex coming along? What's he sort of up to in his rehab at the moment? I think he's about uh, 80 or 95 percent speed with his running, but he's that's. It's still in a straight line, so he hasn't done any agility work yet. So um, that's that's now the that, that next step for him. He just has to build up to that, and 
then after that we get the, the competitive work and the, the you know the, uh, the twisting and the turning and the involuntary top muscle movement so you know, that's where he's at uh, everything's gone really well so far um, he's in great spirits and he's really confident that the work he's done is going to stand in good stead Yeah, look, <coughs> Dean is uh, really liked, you know, really well liked around the club. Um, he, he does have that infectious uh, spirit about him, and you know, obviously, in time for adversity for him to, to come out, uh, particularly when he's uh, you know he's going through some treatment at the moment, is uh, pretty testament for the bloke he is, and, and the players they love that, and uh, yeah, I guess that we, all our support is behind him, and, and we hope we can repay the support he's shown to us. Thank <laughs> you.